Frank, Frank Unger from Gen Egg in Winkler, Manitoba. You guys have sold the first of Colombo Avanti self-propelled bean combine in this country to a local farm here. Yeah. And you're also a, well, one of the few dealers in Canada for that Colombo line, but you're also selling the pull type bean That's harvester. Correct. Correct. Now these are different than standard combines, right? So tell me about the difference. Well, between uh, a conventional uh, grain combine and, and uh, a bean combine is basically the thrashing system on it. Uh, it's designed to be a little more gentle as it isn't a raspar grain on grain harvesting. It's, uh, it's, it's a twin rotor combine that has flighting in it, but it has thrashing pins, we call them. And it, you can adjust the pins to how aggressive you want it to be, but it's an implosion type thrashing falls through the grates and goes out the back. We, we suck it off with our fans in the back, the debris and the beans fall through a, a grate and then into the hopper. Now these are edible beans, so quality is really important to producers. It's huge, right? it's huge. Like uh, like a, a edible bean cannot be cracked or blemished because uh, the end user and buyer wants good quality. Um, if you can, uh, a broken cracked bean, it turns into jelly in the can. So, uh, with these machines, we we found up to less than one percent dockage of cracks, um, so that's that's huge. That's a return on investment. So this this pull type design was pretty much the standard that Canadian producers were, yeah, were using yeah. for a for a harvester, right? Until the uh, Avanti came along. The Avanti is just an SP version of this. Okay. Just it's uh, and you'll see you'll we'll show you that machine later, but it has uh, the twin rotor system the the self propel is just larger longer more capacity okay and what how many models of this pull type are available well there's this this one here with the on the go conveyor and then there's the conventional tipping tipping unit okay, that so tips. basically the same capacity machine same machine just, except the auger the hopper is different okay and what sort of horsepower does it take to run uh you'd like to be somewhere close to 300. okay and these combines don't aren't measured in the same sort of class rate. No, there's that, no class okay. rating because there's only a few bean combine manufacturers out there. So, and this is from Colombo as well, right? This this is from Colombo. This is the manufacturers out of Brazil. Right. They have they they've been they've been in the business for 50 years, Colombo. Right. In so Brazil. it's not a new They're not new to it. Like the, this combine was originally designed, I guess, for for the peanut market, for the peanut harvest, and it works well on beans and and uh, all kinds of different beans, like the big edibles, small beans. Okay, Frank, we are now going to take a look at what's really making news as far as bean combines go this year, the Colombo Avanti. Yeah. Right. So we've come out to your very first customer here at Blumengart uh, Colony. So tell me about what this machine's all about. Okay. Here. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. Um, this combine has... Uh, a nine liter John Deere engine, uh, which is 410 horse. <clears throat> it has a Claus cab and a Claus transmission that drives it. So serviceability is good because of deer being close and us being Claus dealers close. And so being self-propel, um, it's uh, from a pull type, it's about 30% more thrashing capacity. But having said that, it also, it gives us a lot more cleaning power and, and, and there's not as many uh, damaged beans coming off of this combine versus maybe a pull type for whatever reason, because it's all hydraulically driven. So you can adjust every function from the header right up through the, the sieves, the elevator, uh, the fans, you know, it does, you can adjust it all from in the cab. So looking inside this machine, <clears throat> we're looking at the rotors, they're nothing at all really like a, a standard combine. No, rotor. no, they're, they're uh, again, they're just like our pull type combines is they, it's a twin rotor with flighting on it and, and thrashing pins. So instead of like our other combines having rasp bars and grain on grain harvest thrashing, uh, this has pins that you can adjust. And what it basically does, it does an implosion and it moves that, moves it through the, through the rotors by halfway through the rotor, it's ready thrashed, and it's just trash going out the back end. 
hydrostatic, th a three-speed hydrostatic transmission on yeah. this, right? So looking under the hood, they've got a massive hydraulic lines out there. So pretty much everything on this combo. Everything is from, from front end to the back end is all hydraulic, including the transmission. Right. And uh, we were talking with the owner, Mark, earlier. He said he's picking up a 60-foot swath uh, with this. So yes. that's yes. that's pretty comparable to some of the biggest combines out there today in a Well, a you know, your X9s, a lot of guys are running like 50-foot uh, headers on right. them. This will run 60 foot of beans. Um, granted, it, the trash is a little different, but right. yeah, it's it's it, quite capacity. A lot of material going through there. Yeah. And 410, that's that's about, that's about the limit of uh, of that engine. Of that right? engine, yeah, yeah. So it takes a lot of it's, muscle. It's the engine they run on the big 8 Series uh, deer tractors. Same engine, right? Yeah. So obviously the local deer dealer can do it. Oh, absolutely. It needs to be absolutely. done there. Yeah, and the, the cab, is a Claus cab. Claus right? cab, new generation Claus cab. Right, so very quiet, very comfortable in yes, there. Yes, very nice, yeah. Now, we talked about telematics as well. Now this, the telematics getting to be a pretty popular thing in especially large scale yeah. growers yeah. these days. Uh, Colombo has their own telematics system. They have their own right. telematics. Um, we haven't touched into that yet here, but it does come with a uh, Raven uh, GPS system uh, that's standard on this machine. So whether we can we can gather information with that and 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 marry it with their John Deere uh, right. system, I, yeah, that's to be seen. Because this farm is using John Deere telematics on, for, on for most of their yeah. data collection, right? So if it already has a Raven guidance on it, it's probably not a stretch to think it's slingshot is a possibility. Yes, for, absolutely for this. So and yeah. that would be compatible with I, most yeah. systems. Yeah. Um, the very first machine into the market. So this is really a test for you in a lot it of ways. It is a test it? for us. It's a test for the farm. Like uh, historically, like they've been building these combines for seven years, and and they've been running in the in the peanut peanut uh, harvest. So um, the the thrashing system has been around for a long time. A, a matter of fact, Pickett was using was using their, their thrashing box for a lot of years. That's another competitor. That's a manager. competitor. Yeah, we right. used to, we sold, we sell them too, but. Yeah. So now you had a factory rep here who just left a little while yeah, ago. Yeah, Marcio, yeah. So are we thinking that they're taking a look at market condi or growing conditions up oh, here? Oh, they're, and... they're always, they're always watching it. Like they're always like from, from South America to here, our, our conditions are very different. Right. So they are learning and they're, they're adjusting. Right. And their engineers are here right now. They've been here all season. And they're watching this combine like, like a hawk. And you guys have been as well this season. Oh, yeah. No, I've been with this combine the whole time. Right. And it, so Mark tells us he's done about 1,500 acres on this. Yeah. So after this first year, um, he's pleased with the result of it in terms of the, the quality that, yes, that's come yes, out of it. Yeah. 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 No, I, I, like I, I think we need to find other more things it'll do like i know it'll it, we have a wind flex header for it that can windrow and the combine needn't run other than the engine and the drive uh, but we can windrow and then harvest that during the day and we're thinking of putting a flex header on there a draper flex to do you know the not so sensitive beans that need to be windrowed and dried Right, and this, as you said, this can be adapted to any of the major header brands. Like yeah, Macron. and and this combine also will do corn. Right. So you put a corn header on it, you can you can thrash corn. Having said that, you need to change some of the guts inside the thrashing. Right. So it, so it is a versatile machine. Yeah. Yes. For for some reason, it just won't country. do small grains and that kind of thing. Right. Well, thanks, Frank. You're welcome, Scott.